Welcome back to the GE1000. I am the Radio Man 03. How about you and I hang out and play a little Minecraft on the Xbox 360? We are in the start of the southbound tunnel. A little lava pool right there. I dug a little bit of this out over the weekend. But that is our southbound tunnel start. And we will go to the edge of the map on that tunnel. We'll take her all the way down. And of course, install a, a rail line. As uh, we all know, in the last episode, we showed you the, uh, well, actually two episodes, we showed you the uh, the storage room with our cobble room back there. This is the GE1000 mining facility down here. And uh, our jungle room, our awesome jungle room. We have got a lot to do today, and I have a lot to show you. So without uh, wasting any time really stopping too much. Oh, there, slime, pink. Thank you, Mr. Salam. Thank you for jumping off the ledge and dying. Do you hear that? Do you hear that crunch, crunch through the grass? Isn't that nice? That is really nice. I just love our uh, our mine. Having so much fun with it. All right, let's go up to the hovel. We're gonna actually make a full circle today. We're gonna make a full, almost a full circle today. I should say, almost a full circle today. I have got a lot to do. I've got a really cool, awesome... I need to put those stairs in, man. And I just came up with the idea for the stairs as I was uh, getting ready for this video, doing my mic check and all that stuff. I had a great idea for how I'm going to deal with this situation right here where we have to keep going in the water. Squid. The great squid. Our hovel. The hovel. Oh, yeah. So welcome to episode 31. I am so glad you stopped by. As always, I appreciate your time and uh, I thank you for allowing uh, part of your time to be right here with me. Uh, look at that redstone looking bad up here. It looks really good downstairs though. It'll look just fine. So we will uh, we'll definitely deal with that. I wanted to see if we have... Hmm, I was hoping we had a bookshelf, but I don't think we do. Uh, no, we don't. So let's make a couple of bookshelves real quick. Uh, I've got some place I want to just drop a couple of bookshelves real quick. Uh, that should be enough, I think, to make a couple of those. Let's go to... Yeah, there we go. Boom. Boom. Hmm, what do we need? need paper. Paper. I think I saw a reed. Oh, man. Never mind, forget about it. Alright, we'll take the one bookshelf. One bookshelf is really all I wanted anyways, so we'll take that for sure with us. I've got a bow. We're going to enchant a bow. I have 30 XP, so I want to make sure I use that up. I've been doing a lot of farming and stuff. Next stop is the Hubble bedroom. We are going to go up and grab uh, some new armor, because this stuff is S-H-O-T. It is shot, baby. It is shot. Uh, what do we got here? we got some simple leggings. we got a helmet. What do we really need here? Ah, oh, perfect. Boom. Boom. Looking pretty sharp again. We'll just keep the other stuff on, and we're good to go. Uh, we'll come back for that. We're going to come back and enchant. And well, you know what? We're here right now. We're here right now. Kitties. Let's do it. Level 30. <clears throat> Hold on. Excuse me. Pardon me. Mm. Oh, my coffee maker broke over the weekend. Talk about torture. Flame 1, Power 3. Beautiful. And that Power 1 we will take and put up in our chest. Just in case we need a bow for some oddball reason. I think we probably have one or two up here anyways. No, we do not. So there is the Power 1 to go up there. Perfect. Oh, check it out. 15 Ender Pearls. We needed 12. I got them. I've been spending a lot of time out of the NPC village. I'm trying to get an Iron Golem to spawn naturally. Um, so I've been working out in the village, and of course, the NPC Village Rail. Let me check my list here. Alright, we're on track, we're on track, we are on track. Alright, we are out of the hovel. Oh, look at you. Get out of here, squid. You crazy squid. Get out of here. What, what, what if one day, all of a sudden, they just reach out and grab you and drown you? Wouldn't that freak you out if a squid did that one day on Minecraft? Oh, man. Talk about scaring you to death. Oh, just for a day. That would just freak me out. God, that would be really funny, too, if they did that for a day. Uh, okay, we're up at the GE1000. We are here to take the water entrance. We're going downstairs. We'll be coming back here real quick. I have got some awesome, awesome news for you today. I'm very excited about it. There's our corn pops and chocolate milk, baby. <laughs> Woo, boom, boom. 
right, let's uh, let's take the boat on out to the NPC village. Sailing, sailing through the doors. Beautiful. And we've got to slow down. I don't like how this design turned out, but it's what I've got right now. I really need to come up with a better way of doing it. Either that or practice it a lot more so I can slide through here faster. But it's the glass. It's really in the way you actually wind up bumping into it uh, more than you think you do. Uh, there's our there's our Extreme Hills biome. Of course, we last episode, we went out to the tree farm out there. But here we are, guys. Take a look at this. Take a look at that. Our rail is in. I've not come up with the support ideas yet for that, but we are going to take a stroll back on that, all the way back to the GE 1000. I'll show you how she looks all the way down. Um, where I'm at right now with this is that it, it is fully operational, fully functional. Watch, something always goes wrong when I say that. Oop, I missed a spot right there. You can see the wood through the bottom. This is just the same design as we've got uh, going throughout the GE 1000 now as we build our, our rails off the main, uh, main rail station. So this is how they're looking right now. I've got a really great surprise for you in here. Boom, look at there. Pretty nice, right? So that's, there it comes down. So I'm thinking maybe, the ideas I'm tossing around is of course, like on my other build, kind of a circular spiral leg here that comes down. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. I tell you what, I'll explain that to you in a little bit. Let's take care of first things first. First and foremost, first and foremost, oh, why were you not in that cart? Come on. Yesterday I had a guy in that cart all day long. John Cole was in the cart. These guys come in here to get out of the night, and they wind up getting into the cart, but now he's not doing it. Why is he not doing that? Is there somebody in there already? No. Yeah, I had a villager in that cart yesterday, and I was so excited about it. I wonder if is No, come on. You should be able to go in there. Maybe it's because it's pushed up like that. How do I get him in there? You, he should just go in. He went in all by himself because I spent so much time out here in the village. And I did expand the village a little bit, too. Come on. Well, I'll tell you what. Let us uh, let me show you what I've done out here and we'll come back. Oh, that bums me out. See, I saved and backed out and then I lost it. That's exactly what happened. But, uh, yeah, there was a guy in the cart. And uh, he was all ready for shipping out to uh, the GE. And now he's not in there because I saved him backed out. We expanded the village a little bit, so we do have more villagers spawning. But I have yet to spawn myself a natural iron golem without building one. I want to try to spawn one, and I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I built a house there and there. And they both have, this one has two doors, and I believe that one has two doors. I put second doors on most of the buildings here. There's front doors and back doors on all the buildings. And for some reason, I still don't have any iron golems coming. So that, that house and that house are both brand new. I just had a bunch of hodgepodge stuff in my uh, inventory, so I built houses. I also built that one there and the one closest to the cows over there back in there. So I added four houses and... I don't know, 20 doors? 20 doors in here? And I still don't have an iron golem, so I guess I don't have enough doors yet. So I was going to actually add a couple more houses right over there and maybe another one right right in here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. But I, I can expand. I think I might actually stretch the village out towards the shoreline and then maybe build some sort of a docking area right there. So when we come in from the GE 1000, which is through there, we just kind of sail up and park right in there. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. I know I have baby villagers because I had a couple running around yesterday on Sunday when I was playing. It's Monday afternoon right now. Um, so I know I've, I had babies. I watched one of them actually grow up. So, um, yeah, see, we got villagers down here now. Anybody living in here? This is a tiny little house. Maybe it doesn't meet requirements either. Maybe it's too small or something. I don't know. Uh, I could probably look that up and find out, huh? It just seemed to fit right there. These little houses fit right here along this path. And, uh, you know... See, we can expand out that way a little bit, too, and we can put more houses in here if we need to. But I'll put a house... I'll put a house here, too. Maybe a larger house with two or three doors on it and see if maybe that's enough to get an iron golem going. I'm wondering if I've got villagers out here. Okay, there's... 
Got a guy living in here. Uh, this house is empty. This house has been empty all the time. This house I share with one guy. I put my bed in here. So yeah, there's just the one guy and this one here too. So are, are these villagers too far away from those villagers to be able to do what needs to be done here? I don't know because I see them mingling around this well all day long. And there's multiples of them. So I don't know, throw some uh, villager wisdom at me and let me know if I've got anything wrong here. Or if it's just a matter of me adding more doors. Yeah, see, we got a guy in there. No one's living here. What about here? Oh, we got a few guys in here. We got a couple in here. Okay. And then we know we've got a couple down here in the uh, the rail station thing here. I just threw this up too. This is not by this is by no means complete right here. All right, now can I get you in this cart? I'll tell you what, I'm going to get this guy in the cart and then we're going to send him back to the GE1000 and I will rejoin you when we are ready to launch him. I'm not quite sure why he won't get in there because I've pushed the cart at him both ways now. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, he's in. <clears throat> there he goes. He's off. He is off. There goes John Cole, everybody. John Cole is on his way back to the GE1000. Let me out of here. Why won't this let me out? There we go. Hey, back off, buddy. I'm busy here. Okay, so let me show you the rail. I think we'll be able to show it well enough at night. Power rail's coming up this way. I stayed with the spruce wood in the middle because I like the way the rails look on it. They've really got a nice shine. Nice shine on them. So here's our rail. And like I said, we'll come up with the, uh, the bottom supports for that. But it looks pretty cool when you come through the bay here and you've got this big structure here. So we've got to give it a cool underside and a cool leg to it so uh, it fits out here. So when we come around the corner there, we're like, oh yeah, check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Why is he coming back? <laughs> oh, and he stopped right there. One of my uh, power rails is not working properly. <laughs> I was kind of surprised. It's like, oh, there's John Cole. He's coming back. John, what are you doing here, buddy? Come on. No, go that way. Go that way. Come on. There you go. Had a boy. No, no, no. Keep going. Let's go. Let's go. I got to eat. Oh, man. Come on. He's bumping into something. I'm going to get a block in my hand so that way if he does come back, I can stop him right on the dime. So letting him go by this time. I think he'll stop. God, I hope he doesn't take, like, crush damage or something like that. Ooh, that would be bad. So what did he bump into down here? So here's our rail coming through here. I got the supports. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Going off the sides. <laughs> that was some major fall damage there. Uh, and into the wall, like it's uh, being totally secured right there. Oh, Junkle, Junkle. Oh, we got him. We stopped him. <laughs> you Junkle, you devil, you. He's bumping into something down there. I wonder if, oh, you know what? I've got a, maybe a minecart down there on the track. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll show this guy's to you again. I'll show this to you again. Give you a better look at it. Here it comes again. Oh, 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 he's taking damage from that. Oh, I got to take that down. Oh, oh, sorry, John. Sorry, buddy. Can I get up ahead of you here? Oh, God, there he goes. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to get this in here. Oh, no. Don't go back. Oh, oh no. He's going all the way back. What is, okay, let's figure out what he's running into. Here. I'll go get him and bring him back, and we won't we won't um, waste your time with that. He is. There is another cart down here. Doggone it. <laughs> oh, okay. Stick around. Oh, I'll take the cart back. I'll take the cart. Forget it. Here, let's do it. Yeah, this is my mistake, and... You have to live with it right now. Let's go down there and see what, what John's up to. Oh, man, that poor guy. He's going to be stuck on the track down here because that uh, power rail, uh, the um, uh, detector rail is not set properly. So, nice ride, though, right? Check it out. We'll check it out, too, during the day. Oh, creeper. Oh, my God. No. Oh, bridge out. Oh, this is getting worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, let's see. Oh 
Let me get the stuff to fix this. We're out of track and everything. You stay put, John Cole. You crazy son of a gun. <laughs> oh, man, a creeper on the tracks, too. Oh, boy. Yep, you can't, you can't, you can't pay for this kind of entertainment, man. <laughs> oh, this is some crazy stuff going on. Let me get the stuff to fix the rail, because we track and stuff like that. I, and then uh, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> All right, I've collected myself a bit. Let's get back down there. We'll fix the track. Go down there, push John Cole back, and I will take you on the tour of this rail for Pete's sake. Oh my goodness, I've never had so many crazy things happen in an episode. Absolutely nuts. There's John Cole hanging out right there, and that's exactly where we want him to say, stay. The sun has come up, so we've uh, got great light to be able to show you uh, what this looks like. Let's get rid of those. Go a couple stairs here. Nope, nope, that's wrong. That's wrong. I'm facing the wrong direction. Um, dirt. Let's see. Come on, let me down here. There we go. There we are. Boom. Excellent. Dirt again, please. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I got John Cole. Uh, like I said, I had him earlier, but, uh, you know, he got away, doggone it. You guys slippery. I'm curious to see what he's going to do back at the GE 1000. I'm really curious. I didn't have a power rail there, did I? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. No, I don't think so. Right, let's get this out of here. Perfect. All right, let's go get this guy on his way back home. So there's our village during the day. I really want to expand the village too and bring it out and, and make it make it bigger. I think it'd look really cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun to do something like that. Okay, and that power rail is actually stopping you from getting down here. So let's send you back. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to go that way. That way, sir. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There you go. a boy. a boy. There goes John Cole, people. There goes John Cole. Head of security at the GE 1000. Where would be we with John Cole? I'm happy to see him. I am striking out with the wolves not been able to find one yet and it's uh, kind of driving me crazy uh, none of them seem to be uh, spawning near me which is odd um, here's how it looks on the side here very cool hope you guys like that hope you like that a lot and then we come through this tunnel of course we'll do this up really nice um, with uh, some kind of a nice tunnel support arch here that holds this hole open so that uh, it's nice and smooth going through there and stuff uh, our brackets that hold it into the wall. I tried to make them look like they actually go into the wall as best I could with my imagination. And we've got this one over here too as well that goes, uh, you know, you stack the dirt on the outside of it like that in a couple of places and it does make it look. See like there you can't see it anymore but there it's continuing in so that kind of helps to make things look like they're buried uh, into the earth. But there is our tunnel or our, our rail through the valley that looked kind of cool that looked pretty cool so that is our the valley uh, dirt again dirt again dirt again and we're almost done with this rail tour too we're almost done here because we'll have this tunnel here we'll do the same thing we'll make it look sturdy and solid with some timber and some stonework and stuff like that and we'll make that uh, you know part of the mountain hillside as we come in and uh, here we've got our brackets on our jungle trees as we go around. Same kind of brackets that we have uh, on the other rail that comes from the GE 1000 out to the rail station. We just happen to be closer to trees this time, so I was able to go right around them. And I kind of hollowed out these big giant trees because I think, you know, you'd be able to do something like that. And that tree would be able to withstand some damage with the size of these trees are. I mean, there's trees you can drive cars through, right? And they're alive. They're still alive. All right, so we got John Cole back where we want him. Let's get these out of here. Boom, boom, and boom. Let's get this fixed up real quick, and we are going to turn him loose down there and see what he does. We've got the doors on where his office is supposed to be, so hopefully he will uh, head in there. I'm going to put a half slab over this thing here, this exit, so he can't uh, walk out this way. And the half slab won't cause us any damage. So he'll be st hopefully stuck in there. Let's find, uh, let's see. 
Stone brick slabs. That's exactly what I was looking for. Boom and boom. Let's go like this. We have to go like this and like this and like that. Right? Okay, you can't jump up there. You can't jump up there. Got some signage up too. There's a sign right there and... Actually, we've got signs down there in the uh, the rail station as well, so we can't get out that way. Let's make sure we can't get out. I've got trap doors here. There's John Cole's office, of course. This is where he does his conducts his business. I forgot a redstone lamp here, so I need to get the Nether portal back up and running again and get down into the Nether and uh, get that done. So let's see. And he's blocked in here with that. And I don't. We'll see what happens with this. We'll see what happens with the uh, automatic doors. Let's turn them loose. John Cole, baby. Welcome home. Welcome home. I hope you enjoyed your vacation with your family. Uh, but we need you back here at the GE set, uh, the GE 1000, buddy. So uh, welcome home. I think we'll get him a friend up here, too, and see what happens. Right, check it out. Check it out. Tell me what you think. I know. I've been working on it hard. Real hard. He's got to get up high so he can get a good scope of it. Look at the, oh, checking out the view. Nice. I promise we'll put some artwork up and stuff. It, it'll look a little more homey. It'll look more homey. You have not seen the hovel, though. The hovel looks great. Very nice. The mine, awesome. I'll be the judge of that, I think is what he's saying. <laughs> they look a little more human. Their eyes do. <laughs> John Cole, you poor unibrown son of a gun. Look at that thing. Look at that big old brown streak across your forehead. Just clip it right in the middle, buddy. Just give it a little clip in the middle. Is that going to be your spot? Because I've got this really nice spot over here. Oh, you know what? I bet when it gets dark, he'll head for the doors. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see if he does it with the lights on. If not, we'll turn them off. Remember, on the GE71, he found a spot he liked, and he wouldn't move from there. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man, John Cole, good to have you back, buddy. Good to have you back. There you go, buddy. There's your office. Yeah, feel, feel real free. Just feel free. Stretch your legs. I, I know, I know. You're probably not too happy here. I should probably bring him up, a friend. He's. Uh, do you think he's homesick? I don't care, John. You're staying, man. You're staying. We got a, we got work to do here. We got work to do here. I swear, I'll bring you up, a friend. I'll push the cart back down there. We'll get you second. We'll get you a friend up here. Once we do, we'll ask the viewers, people watching right now, what uh, what we should name, um, you know, your friend. But we'll get you a friend, John Cole. We'll get you a friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome, John Cole, back to the GE One Thousand. Our security man is here. Let's uh, let's let's get him set up with a bookshelf. That's what I brought the bookshelf for. I wanted John Cole to have something in his office right away, right away. And there it is, boom, just like that, a bookshelf. We'll do him a nice uh, nice counter space here with stuff. And we'll do uh, a little more counter work here as well. Get things kind of set up for John Cole. But I want to use uh, I want to use a little nether rack in this room, just this room. I want to do nether rack uh, fencing and uh, decorative stone in here. And then uh, redstone lamp where it needs to be. But uh, everybody, I hope you're happy to see him. I guess the other thing we've got to wonder about is will he... Uh, Go down in there. We will We will certainly find out. Let's see what he does. Where is he? There he is. Find the doors, John. Find the doors. John Cole. John. Over there. Oh, he's moving around a lot more than he did in the other one. Look at him go. I love it. I love having life in my world. That is great. He's amazing, too. Look at those talents. Look at those skills. All right. Well... Well, 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 I think that concludes this episode. We will, of course, um, continue the finishing up the rail and getting that rail completed so that it looks, it looks good because, of course, we want it to look good. Let's take one more ride out here. Hopefully, we won't run any more creepers. Talk about panic and doing absolutely nothing. I hit him with that diamond pick, that creeper. Obviously, we need some lighting. <laughs> We need some lighting out here. We do. We definitely do. I need to be ready to jump out of this cart, though, if I see another mob on the track. 
Here's our village. I hope you like the progress. No, no, no. Oh, well, I wonder if I could scoop that villager up. Oh, beautiful. John Cole. Here comes your friend. Well, I guess they're not going to make it all the way back, huh? That's right, the rail's not all the way done, so... That's all right. I'll have a second villager up there, and... Well, look at there. Boom. If I move those two villagers, you guys are going to want to breed again, aren't you? Yes, indeed you are. Yes, indeed you are. That is... There. That, that, that does conclude it. Now we've got a friend for John Cole. I will make sure that uh, individual makes it there fine, and uh, maybe we'll wind up with three up there. Nevertheless, we're going to have to put uh, some install some iron golems, and I'm hoping we can get some to show up here on their own free will. I, I don't want to uh, build an iron golem out here. I want to keep building this and having them breed until an iron golem shows up naturally. That's what I want to have happen. I'm the Radio Man 3 I really appreciate you checking out the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again next time.